Hi guys and welcome back and welcome to this part 2 of our series about mastering the past. So I already have one video that I released last week where I go through all the basic, the basic grip and the basic movements that you need to do and have down before we continue today with the more advanced techniques. So that video is going to pop up here, so make sure to watch that first. So we spoke about some covers last week, but today we're going to talk about some more advanced one. We're going to talk about the wiggle pass, it looks something like this, or the wiggle cover for the classic pass, you could say. We are wiggling the deck a little bit. And then we're going to talk about the riffle pass. Looks something like this. Where you're riffling the deck, like so, okay? And finally, we're going to talk about the dribble pass. Looks like, like this. Maybe it works better in this more exposed view, where you can see that we're actually dribbling the cards like this. Okay, so let's start with the wiggle pass, or the wiggle cover for the classic pass. So from this angle, it can look something like this, or you know, something like this, okay? So as I said, I usually just do this face up as kind of a color change, because I don't think it really makes sense, this, this movement. We don't do that very often, but as a color change or something like that, it works pretty well. So what's going to happen in slow motion is that the bottom packet will be carried forward a little bit. This is obviously an exaggeration, but forward and back, okay? And then we wiggle a little bit. So instead of just doing the pass and then wiggling, we can start the wiggle, so to speak, by actually bringing it forward a little bit in slow motion like this, okay? So it's not much more to it, to be honest. It's one of the easier covers, okay? So bring it forward and back and start the wiggling process from the start, okay? So that is the wiggle pass or the wiggle cover. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the riffle pass. This is my favorite pass and it looks something like this. At least when I do it, there are different ways of doing it, but something like this. So what's going to happen here is that you're going to do the basic technique we talked about in the last video. And once you get here, some, somewhere here, you're going to take this packet, which, which started on the bottom, so it moves to the top, and then here we're going to just riffle it. Okay, and here you have to make a decision, basically. So sometimes you want to, if you want to use your thumb, for example, to aid the riffle, you might want to start with the thumb across like this. Maybe you're used to having it like that, but in this instant, you might want to have it, you know, across to make the riffler riffling easier. Okay. Or you don't actually need that. You can use your index finger to, you know, curl that inwards and just use your index finger to riffle, okay? So these are the kind of considerations you have to make and, you know, find out what works best for you. So one more time, kind of slow motion, you do the basic technique, whichever way, wherever you want to have your thumb, but you do the basic technique. And once you're here, basically, you begin to riffling. So you begin to riffle as soon as you can, as soon as that top packet has kind of cleared. So over here, okay? So that is the riffle pass or the riffle cover for the classic pass. So let's move on to the dribble pass. So from this angle, it looks something like this, okay? So of course, for the dribble pass, you first need to know how to dribble the cards, okay? So I have a video on that. You, you might want to check out. I think the best way of dribbling when you're doing the pass is having this kind of deep grip like I'm having here. So that works better than holding it, for example, like this, some kind of diagonal grip. I like to hold it deeper like this. I think it works better for the pass. So in this case, 
what you're going to do, and this is a common misconception when it comes to the dribble, dribble pass, is you don't do the pass and then dribble afterwards. So you don't do the pass and then dribble somehow. Instead, what you're going to do is as soon as the packet's clear, you're going to start to dribble. So you don't complete the pass before you dribble. So you dribble as soon as they clear. Okay, I like to think of it like this. I don't take the top portion to the bottom and then dribble. Instead, I actually lift the top portion and dribble. So in this case, have a kind of a relaxed grip and just lift that bottom portion. And as long as you have your fingers in that grip we talked about, that top portion is simply going to drag along by itself. And then you're basically in the perfect grip to dribble the cards. Okay, so once again, don't do the pass and then dribble. Don't do the pass downwards, I think, and then dribble. Instead, lift the bottom packet upwards and start to dribble, okay? That's the dribble pass or the dribble cover for the pass. I hope you like that, it's one of my favorites. Okay guys, again, I really hope you found this helpful and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it really helps me out. And please subscribe if you want to learn more magic and sleight of hand like this. We're going through the Royal Road to Card Magic, we're learning all the basics, so make sure to hop along that journey right now if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, remember to leave them down below in the comments section. So I just want to thank you so much for watching and I want to wish you a wonderful day. See you next video. Bye-bye.